The first thing I want you guys to do when we're making these is I want you to concentrate on having a square sheet of paper. And so in order to do that, and I know you guys have seen me do this before, where I'm folding over a piece of paper on itself and I'm going to tear off this extra tab here once I fold this in. So old school in it because I know you guys don't have access to scissors is I'm going to fold this over on itself a few times until I feel it's until I feel it's worn out enough for me to just tear it off. Não saia da praça, não esqueça do seu sonho. Siga, carrega. All right. So now I have a square left. Now what I'm going to do is take that square and fold it in the opposite direction I folded it the first time. All right. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, have a square with four triangles that are the same. And I'm going to use these lines, or I should say, uh, oh, where's my pencil? Here we go. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so it shows up better on the camera. So let me get a sharpie. I got crap paper. Here we go. All right. So watch what I do here. I'm going to fold the paper up like this, put my ruler there, and draw a line like that. All right. And now this is where I'm going to turn some music on and speed up the process. So pay close attention. Skilly do do do. Do the same thing on the other side. Skilly do do do. I want you by the. Now, when you draw your lines, you want to draw your lines light because you want to be able to draw over those lines, and you also want to be able to erase lines that you don't need. So now, I have, uh, let's say, a square. I'm going to say perfect square because it's not a perfect square. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out and I'm going to make tick marks along each line about half an inch. Huh? And I'm going to do this normally with a pencil and make these tick marks nice and light. And what these tick marks are going to do is they're going to give me a guideline as to where um, a seven inches, as to where I'm going or how I'm setting up the structure of my mandala. Alright? Plain artwork. So there, all my lines have tick marks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, let's say three tick marks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? And I'm going to line these tick marks up. And what I'm creating now is the beginning stages of my mandala by connecting these points or these tick marks that we just made. Alright? And remember, I'm doing this in Sharpie so that it shows up on the camera better. Uh, this is not normally how I would do it. It would be nice and light, but for educational purposes, we're doing this one. I always said in the video so you guys know uh, what I'm doing. So, I have this, right? Now, watch this. I'm going to measure between these two tick marks, which is about uh, two inches and a quarter. So I'm going to go an inch and an eighth. Make a Make lines going across. Now, now, this is important. You want to line up these two tick marks along with your center. And you want to bam. Tick marks. And we went three out, right? So watch this. I'm going to go one, two, three out again. 
one, two, three, out again. One, two, three. And watch this. I'm going to line up these tick marks and I'm going to make another square. And of course, this square is in juxtaposition. The opposing side, the opposite side, opposite corners of the first one. Now here's our final product. Um, you can see the little designs and doodles and intricacies I've done in the middle. Um, still primary colors I stick with. I just think that they just work well. So you guys try it out. And this one isn't very... Um, complicated I mean it was a lot of work because it's so big but uh enjoy yourselves have fun see you next class